John from Mighty here, and in this video, I'm going to show you guys how you can leverage font awesome icons throughout your course using the custom font picker, which is a really fun way to just add these icons throughout your course and just have it stand out a little bit better. So let's dive in on how you do that. All right, first, we're going to go to the font awesome website. And we are going to download the free fonts that we need for Articulate Rise. So if you go right here to the start with free, if you wanted to go the pro route, you could certainly do that, but we're going to do the free. Then we'll go to the download section. And what we want to download is the web font. So we're going to go ahead and download this. This will open up a zip folder for us. And in this folder is the web fonts. And we've got the different font types. So specifically what I want to focus in on is the regular and solid. And what those are referring to is if you go back up to your icons and we're going to look for a light bulb icon because we're going to leverage this here in a bit. You're going to see all of the different icons that are available. There are some that are pro and then under each of these is like the solid, regular, lights, duotones, thins, etc. The ones that we're specifically leveraging for us right now is under the free section and then you got the solid and the regular style. So what we need to do is we need to take the files that we just got and we need to convert these from TTF files to WOFF files, which is what Articulate needs when you upload a custom font. So let's go to the custom font section so I can show you what that looks like. So under theme, fonts, more, we've got this add new font section. We're going to call this font awesome. And you'll see here that the font files that we have to upload are WOFF files. So in order to get WOFF files from a TTF file, we are going to use a site called Cloud Convert. And a Cloud Convert allows you for free to convert files um, and it does TTF files really well. So we're going to go here, select our solid TTF, convert that to WOFF as well as the regular TTF and convert that to WOFF. And once those are converted, we'll go ahead and download both of those, go back into Rise, and then for our regular style, we're gonna use the regular Font Awesome. And then for Bold, we're gonna use the Solid. So what this would allow us to do is, as we've got different icons that we wanna leverage, you could actually bold the font itself which will flip you back and forth between the regular style and then the solid style. So let's go ahead and save this font. We'll go back into our lesson and let's just choose the section where we want to go ahead and add a font awesome icon. So right above this getting started, we were instructed to put like a little light bulb icon here. So step number one is just to give it space. And then we're going to choose our new font awesome icon that we uploaded. And now what we need to do is get the Unicode that you would use to swap out this text to get the actual icon itself. So in order to do that, we'll go back into Font Awesome, find again the icon you're looking for, and in this situation, it's the light bulb icon. And up at the top here, it gives you the Unicode that you're gonna actually use when you're putting this inside of Rise. So go ahead and click that to copy it. Go into your course, highlight the text, and then go to code view. And then in code view, what we're going to do is we are going to put in the Unicode. And in order to do that, you hit the ampersand, hash, X, and then paste. So again, that's ampersand, hash, X, and then you just paste in wherever the Unicode is. And then once we flip that back, you will able to, you'll be able to see that icon. And in here, you know, we can go ahead and up the size and we can change the color um, to be whatever you wanted. But really fun, super easy to add icons. We can go in and jump into different icons as well. So like as an example, we've got this arrow icon. This works well for solid. Here's the regular style, but that only is available for pro. The solid is available for us, so we can again leverage that Unicode, go back into here, highlight that, swap out for code view, remove this Unicode character, 
and put in this new code here. You'll see this doesn't necessarily work because this is the regular font, but if we switch it to bold, then it would actually reveal the font awesome icon. So again, you can leverage both solid and regular font awesome icons by uploading those as just regular and bold fonts, making sure you convert those from TTF uh, on the Cloud Convert site and you are good to go.